What's going on, Chris from Josh's CaseBreaks.com? Doing 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball 40 box blaster case, random team number two. It's a Novet common ship except for Acuna, Otani, Freeman, Betts, maybe some Matt Olson for the MVP buyback chance. So two exclusive Sepia, two exclusive Pink Refractors. We keep an eye out for some retail exclusive Chrome rookie autos as well. But random team style, our fresh dice, our fresh list from Paul. Then at Tristan grabbed the last four spots, the last spot mode. Just thanks again for everyone for getting in and our teams from the D-backs down to the Nats. All right, let's roll the dice and randomize. Three and six, nine times. Good luck, y'all. 40 boxes, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Ninth and final time. Zach down to Tristan. And for the teams, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Ninth and final time. Twins down to Royals. All right, let's see how it all shook out. Even though it's blasters, this is still technically a full case break, so I'll keep the trade window open for a little bit. Don't know how many action there will be but we're gonna find out together. So, Scott with a big team, the D-backs, Caitlin with the Braves, another one, pretty nice. Sam with the Orioles, Aaron with the Red Sox, Tristan with the Cubs, Michael with the White Sox, Justin with the Reds, Zach with the Guardians, Michael P with the Rockets, Spencer with the Tigers, Justin with the Astros, Tristan with the Royals, Scott with the Angels as well, nice two teams there. Zach, uh, excuse me, Zach S, oh my, Zach Sullivan, We'll get the Dodgers. Zach Shaver will grab the Marlins. Stacy with the Brewers. Zach Sullivan with the Twins. David with the Mets. Tristan with the Yankees. Nice, gets his Yanks. Zach Sullivan with the A's. Cassandra with the Phillies. Zach Sullivan with the Pirates. Sam with the Giants. Matthew with the Giants. I mean, uh, Stan with the Padres. Matthew with the Giants. David with the Mariners. Tristan, one of the last one, Mojo gets the Cardinals. Nice team there. Sam with the Rays. Stacy with the Rangers. David with the Blue Jays. And Paul with the Nats. All right, so Marlins are up for trade. Let's real quick, pause the video. We'll see if there's any uh, trade chatter. And after that, we're up a full 40 box case of Top Scroll Blasters. We'll be right back. All right, so we are back. Couple offers thrown out there, but nothing in concrete. So we're going to print, we're going to rip, and we're going to switch screens. Uh, woo me. Look at the production here. Look at the camera work. Bobby Witt just went deep. So some second year Bobby Witt action for you. The try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. How good has Bobby Witt been the last couple weeks, man? It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but maybe actually not, not too bad. Random team two, Scott with the D-backs. All the way down to Paul with the Nationals. All right. <laughs> let's, see, uh, let's see how this one goes. Hey, whether you're uh, ripping with us, whether you're watching, lurking, whatever it may be, I just appreciate y'all being here with me, so I'm not completely... There we go. Kind of... I can't really see. Oh, gosh. This is going to be... Hmm. I don't want to do this. Kind of no way to do it, but to just do it, right? Watch out, everyone. Everyone be careful here. Ooh. See, there we go. Jesus. I don't got the room to just dump it, you know? You can kind of see top right, you know, real way to dump a fork. 40 box blaster case. Let's clean y'all up a little bit, yeah? My bad, hope everyone's okay. A little earthquake, but I think we're all right. Let's organize here, yeah? Again, no real way to do it. For sure, we'll, uh, we'll do a recap, obviously, of all the hits at the very, very end. Because, you know, 40 boxes to rip. Well, they are just blasters, we still got a rip. So. <laughs> a 
we'll just go. <laughs> well, one at a time. There are 40 boxes here, full 40 box case, as you can most likely tell. <laughs> That's funny. Look at that. Right up front. He's a handsome lad. That early rush, man. Very talented player. All right, folks. Uh, I'm going to probably do a few of these at a time, maybe five at a time. Like I said, not a real good way of doing it, no real solid way to bust open a 40 box case. I'm trying to also get some room over here. That's two. Three. Time to get 4 a.m. though, man. Oof. I feel for that. That's how I know my, my brother's going through it. My brother, who uh, had his little girl about, oh my God, about four and a half months ago. It's almost five months, which means it's almost a year, which means it's almost been a year that I've been an uncle. Um, I know he's cooking when uh, when he's sending me TikToks at like three in the morning. The new guy, brother, I've been here for like a year and a half. Where you been? But uh, hey, my name's Chris, man, nice to meet you. Five blasts at a time. All right, hey, just happy to have you here. What's up, Drift? How's it going? Well, welcome on back. We're still rocking here on YouTube, obviously. Jash'sCaseBreaks.com. We're also ripping on the Fanatics Live app. You can hear Joe probably in the room next door. That's where Joe is right now, if you want to grab him there. Let's call this a stack. Let's right here. No, Fanatics Live is its own app. No, Fanatics purchased Tops about a year and a half ago. Pretty much been almost two years, it seems like. But yeah, they you know they purchased Tops. They developed their own breaking app. No, it's a it's an app on a phone. Fanatics Live, and we're on it. Jaspie's breaks. No TikTok. We have. I don't. I think we were on TikTok for a minute way before I was here. We used to be, but not anymore. All right. These are the first five boxes. All right. Good luck, everyone. 
It's a nice start. Corbin Carroll Sepia. It's going to go to the D backs. And Scott. Nice one there. They're not numbered the Sepia. Retail exclusive to Per Blaster. And a pink Corbin Carroll. Huh? Nice start for the for the D backs indeed. Probably Ray Sepia there. So the pink and Sepia is both blaster retail exclusives. Both hit. Nice Corbin Carroll's right there for Scott and the D backs. Trey Turner Sepia, Jordan Walker. Trey Turner Pink. Oh, it's gonna be just one of each per blaster. So we can bets. One of the only vets that are going to be shipping. Nick Prado on the rookie Sepia. Oswaldo Cabrera pink. There's an Adley earlier now, Gunnar Henderson. Base for the Orioles. It's going to go to Sam. Nice. Renato. Jai Juan Bay. Base rookie auto for the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's going to go to Zach Sullivan. Chai Juana Mo Bay. Nick Prado again. Nothing hit Sepia. Now we hit the pink. There's a Kito Marte Sepia. Bobby Witt on the refractor. Jake McCarthy Sepia. Bobby Witt pink. Just hit a home run minutes ago. Tyler Freeman on the Sepia, rookie for the Guardians. Ezekiel Duran, Sepia, rookie for the Rangers. Ooh, some nice rookie color here, too. This one numbered 67 out of 350. Vinny Pasquantino for the Kansas City Royals and Tristan. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo right there. He knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. And then Acuna with a Corbin Carroll. Josh Young Refractor. All right, pretty solid first five boxes here. Only 35 more to go. Shea Langlears goes deep. Hey, in this, see if we can get some Shea Langlears for the A's. Just had a bomb. Second deck bomb? What the heck? That was a shot. In Oakland, too. What the heck? So we've hit one auto in five boxes of a 40 box case. What's the over under on these autos, yeah? I would say over under two and a half. We've seen. Blasters are bangers, folks. Retail is, uh, I think they've been pretty good the last couple years for Tops Chrome.
40 boxes. Woo! We can't all be doing Tom's Dynasty, you know? We can't all be doing one card boxes. Joe and Michael have been rocking tonight, though. Hit a Bobby Witt Jr. from Dynasty. Patch Auto out of five. I think a piece of the City Connect jersey. Awesome patch. And I think he just hit a torque. That's what he was freaking out about. So I want to watch see that, obviously. Box six to ten. Start with our first one. Austin Riley on the Sepia. Having another great season. I'm, is this what it's going to be? One pink and one Sepia, but it's all the same player. There's a Freddie Freeman base, one of our only good common ships. Going to the Dodgers, going to Zach Sullivan, another Adley. Jordan Groshans, Oswald Peraza, Alex Bregman, pink, another Adley. Bo Naylor Sepia for the Guardians, Jared Walsh. Randy on the pink. Zach Gowan having a great season for the Diamondbacks. So last up here there, another Adley base. Ken Waldachuk, Sepia. Pink Jose Ramirez, knockout artist of Matt Olson. Pink Ken Waldachuk. Nice Gunnar Henderson refractor. Looking like you're right now AL Rookie of the Year. Nice hit for Sam. Got the orders. DJ on the Sepia. There's an Acuna. On a Brown refractor. Chapman Sepia, the all-star. The always intense Matt Chapman. Join Manessis on the rookie refractor. Nice James Altman Sepia from the Dodgers. Going to go to Zach Sullivan. Corbin Carroll, next card. Grab that one real quick. Bryce Harper hit an inside the park home run. Ah, there's that lucky bounce. He's going. He's oh, 
they'll never call that an E8. Especially when they're at home. Well, like, that's on the second floor. You can kind of see my hand on the right, top right. So no parallels, no autos there. Let's see if we can pick it up. Let's clear out this right side. This one. This one. See a little bit more. to 15 on the boxes here. There's Bryce Harper right there. Mr. Inside the Park home run. Zach Geloff went deep again? Oh my god, this kid's been crazy since getting called up. Just an insane power line for Zach Geloff. Yes, sir. I did one of those. It's actually pretty fun. I put the over under on autos at two and a half. What do you think? Oh, way over. Way over, right? It's seven in the last. I have. I've done ten boxes and one so far. Did you notice when you were doing them um, that like the a pink and a sepia? There's like one each of the same player. Like the first a box, few I of them, yeah. yeah, like first box was Corbin Carroll. Second box was like another decent rookie. There was like a Jake McCarthy, Matt yeah. Chapman. Like it's funny. Yeah, we had one where it was a Acuna both of them, which was very nice. 
I would assume that both of those cover the price of the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Forty-nine dollars for a random. Those should be going for like. I would say right now probably anywhere between twenty and forty. Probably around thirty. And then, uh, you know, if he wins MVP, which I still think he's the favorite to do so, odds on, it'll be a $40 card. All right. Boxes 11 to 15. Evan Longoria, Sepia. And the Future Stars. And our next auto is a nice one. Josh Young. Right on cue. Nice Josh Young, a rookie auto, base for Stacy and the Texas Rangers. Very nice. Get well soon, youngster. There's another long warrior pink, just what we were talking about. Cal Stevenson, refractors, a Matt Olson, Garrett Mitchell, Sepia. Mookie Betts, refractor for the Dodgers. Zach Sullivan grabs another Mookie. Alley on the future stars. Jones Sepia, rookie for the Rockies. Nolan Jones Pink, rookie for the Rockies. Michael Harris on the Refractor. Matthew Levertor Sepia. Kyle Tucker. Cal Mitchell Pink. Josh Smith, so Francisco Alvarez. Page rookie for the Mets. Gonna go to David. Rather right, green hyper, Volpe, Sepia. Nice one for the Yankees there. Will be on the pink. Both Volpe's going to the Yankees and Tristan. JT Real Muto, Jordan Walker refractor. Next one for the Cardinals. Charlie Blackman on the negative. Stores on the Sepia. Chuck Nasty. Let's go into the Rockies and Michael P. The Jordan Walker rookie refractor. Nice one for the Cardinals and Tristan. That's the last spot mojo. All right. 15 down. Let's do our next five. One. Two. Four. Two. We pulled a couple of him already, but man, how about Gunnar Henderson yesterday? Got the home run, he's got the double and the triple. All he needs is the single for the cycle. Wastes the ball down the right field line. Rins pass first, gets the second in with a hustle double. And his teammates are like, bro, what are you doing? That was the cycle. And obviously they asked about it. And the post-team interview is like, they were crushing the A's, by the way. Baltimore won pretty handily yesterday against Oakland. And the reporter's like, was that on your mind at all? I'm like, no. I'm, uh, I'm trying to win us ball games. You know, I, I want to stay hot. I want to have good at-bats. That's all I really care about right now. Ooh, 
you love to hear and see that mentality from a youngster like Gunnar Henderson. He's like, nah, I don't want to win. I want to put us in the best possible opportunity for us to win ball games. It's not going to be me standing at second when I could have been, or me standing at first when I could have been at second with a double, settling for something as arbitrary as a cycle. A stud. Got a blue there, like that. Man, Baltimore. They're just, uh, you know, they've built a great, great team, and then you hear someone like Mike Angel, like, yeah, you know, we can't really pay to keep this young core, so we're gonna raise prices on tickets and beer and hot dogs. And if there are any Orioles fans out there, I feel for you. I really do. I think it's Orioles fans in the chat. I know that there are Baltimore Orioles fans. It's very silly. But, no, man, they're, uh, you know, they're a great young team, super exciting, and an awesome ballpark. You know, I hope that they're able to keep the kids around just and win for a decade. It's good for the league when teams like Baltimore are good. Small market staying competitive. Especially in the AL East. No small feat. With teams like the Yankees. Toronto. Seemingly superpowers. Boston's taking a couple years off. And then, you know, Tampa's going to do Tampa Bay. But. When the Orioles are rocking, man. They are rocking. It's a lot of fun. You know, it's crazy. I think right now you look at that roster on paper and it's like, why aren't they doing well? But they've won a World Series, like, more recently than a lot of other teams. It's crazy. You know, they, what I mean by superpower is that they, uh, they got great names, you know? Isn't that the whole point? They went out and traded for guys. They signed someone like George Finger, so they're willing to open up the, uh, the checkbooks. I just mean in the grand sense, when you look at that AL East, you think of, uh, it is a major market, even though it is Canada, Toronto, New York, Boston, and then there's Baltimore and Tampa Bay. All right, let's do it. This is 16 to 20 on the blaster boxes. There's Gunnar Henderson right there, just who we were talking about. Titans Bo Bichette, Pink Sandy Alcantara, Pink Bregman. Jock Peterson on the sepia. A little bit of color coming up here. And an auto. Going to be Simeon Woods Richardson. Wouldn't be a chrome break without a Simeon Woods Richardson hit. It's going to go to the Minnesota Twins. Going to go to Zach Sullivan. But hey, you know, you're not abandoning. You can't be accused of being a bandwagon, you know? Ramon Laureano, blue, 122 out of 150 for the Oakland A's. It's going to go to Zach Sullivan again. Double one up on hits. Francisco Alvarez, hyper there. Joe Ram on the Sepia. Nice one for the Mets there. Bregman, Sepia, Judith Downs, Hyper, Jonathan Aranda on the pink. I mean, 
maybe it's because I did it foolishly, but I remember a couple years ago, I think 2021, like, I thought that team was so deep that, like, I have them going to the at least the ALCS. But I remember one year I had Dodgers Blue Jays. I thought that team looked so complete after Vladdy's MVP season. Like, oh man, like this is it. Like, Bo's still figuring things out, but he still had a pretty good season. I thought, man, they got Barrios. They've got some legit pitching now. They've got a good bullpen. And it seems like they've just kind of plateaued, which happens, you know? I think of, uh, I think of that, Cubs, that Cubs team. Obviously, the Cubs won in 2016. But, man, that should have been a dynasty, right? Should have been around competing every single year for close to a decade. And didn't really happen. Shelly for the Angels and Scott. Nice pink Josh Young for the Rangers and their Francisco Alvarez. Corbin Carroll. Austin Hayes on the Seppi. Pink Speckle. Andres Jimenez, 230 out of 350. Cleveland Guardians, former All-Star. It's going to go to Zach Sullivan one more time. Nice Gunner Sepia. Look at that's in there as well. Look like at Gunner Sepia every day. Nice one for Sam and Baltimore. Three autos, couple parallels. Got some nice rookies in our sepias and our pinks. Let's keep it going, yeah? Michael said we were going to smash the over on autos. We already have hit. I set the over under a two and a half. We're already at three. Halfway done. There's 22. championship is obviously difficult. This isn't like a revelation or anything, but I feel like in baseball, it's just so hard. Twenty-six players have to perform at a championship level, you know? 162 games. Against 29 other teams. It just seems next to impossible sometimes, yeah? The grind of it all, the competition, injuries. It's hard. But you know, it's 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 pretty similar to to football and, and, and basketball, hockey and soccer, where you know one player definitely can make it a little easier. You know, if you have a, a superstar, but we've seen plenty of superstars in baseball. Been healthy and playing at that superstar level and not do anything. Angels. Yankees. On 2025, I'm positive. Oh my God, yeah, man. I mean, April to September, and then, God forbid, you get to the postseason and make another run. You can, you're playing until November sometimes. April to November. You take a few months off and do it all over again in, in February for spring training. It's so hard. You know, sometimes it requires a little bit of luck. Oh, 
Yeah, in a heartbeat. Like, uh... Like, especially compared to other sports, too. And it's all guaranteed. Like, you can get released. Yeah, you can get fired from your job and go somewhere else. And they still have to pay you. You know? God forbid in football, you know, you sign a, a big, long deal. Lots of money. Well, even lots of years, too. And, you know, one day... Seemingly, you know, at any time, take your ACL or get some concussions, and yeah, that's it. You never play ever again. It's so physically demanding, the wear down on it. That's it. The uh, the the specifics on it are kind of weird. I think it some of it gets covered by one team, most of it gets summed up by another. So, like, let's say, you know. Cincinnati and Baltimore, Luis Robert gets traded to the to the Orioles. The White Sox still pay a majority of the salary, and then Baltimore pays for the rest. So let's say like 70% Chicago pays for, 30% Baltimore pays for. But or, you know, Luis Robert signs, you know, eight years, $160 million deal with Chicago White Sox. Obviously not gonna happen, just an example. But like, you know, $20 million a year. But let's say by year three, he's washed. Totally done. Like yeah, it's it's not worth having you on a team. It's not worth thing you have on the minors. No other team wants you. They release them. And it's like okay, I'm still gonna get paid the rest of my hundred and twenty million dollars over eight years. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah, exactly. Salary is a very interesting thing in sports. You know, it, it seemingly doesn't matter to some guys who, you know. Want to win. Some guys want to get a bag. Keep Till Marte ties it up. Wow. Wow. All right. Second half of the case here. Boxes 21 to 25. Nice Mookie Betts pink there. There's Josh Young. Nice J-Rod Sepia there. Ooh, how about the streak J-Rod's on? Holy moly. Historic legendary stuff. Nice Mookie Betts pink there for the Dodgers. The players are trade missions of that. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's, you know, the team has to be able to pay for a guy. Nice Penny Pasquatino pink. Purple Sonar Reese Hoskins, 158 out of 275 for the Phillies. Pasquantino Pink, the Phillies, and Cassandra, the Royals, picked up by Tristan, Freddie Freeman, Carlos Correa on the sepia, it's a Shohei, you know, it's trading for a guy, you know, a superstar like that, like, yeah, you gotta, you know, you gotta find the money to do so, you gotta get the right package in, that, that comes into account, it's like, well, I'm paying a bunch of salary. I can't give you that many prospects. You know the the inner workings of a, a of a trade have always fascinated me. Von Grisham on the hyper. That's why I've always loved like GM modes in sports games. Madden, 2K, MLB The Show. Just like this is you know. I think I can do it. You know, we all are armchair GM. You know, let's get me in there. See what I can do. Green Sonar. Francisco Lindor, 37 out of 99 for the Mets. It's going to go to David M. Still having a great year on both sides of the ball. Michael Massey, pink for the Royals. Miguel Vargas, hyper. Vlad Jr., pink. <laughs> I'm too many words. Yeah, it's it's tough, man. Brett Beatty on the Sepia. Hunter Henderson on the Future Stars. Our next auto is going to be Graham Ashcraft, rookie pitcher for the Reds. It's, and then and then there's like I said, managing of of personalities. Some people have egos. I have an ego. When I was, uh, you know, playing team sports, you know, I had an ego. 
A lot of other players have egos. Tovar on the Hyper, having a nice season for the Rockies. Tristan Casas last card there, nice refractor. Big bopper for the Red Sox, gonna go to Aaron. But tomorrow, that's right, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, man. All right, so yeah, Michael was right. We definitely smashed the over. Four autos so far with 15 boxes to go. This desk getting a little more queer. We should have put like the poster, like a major league. You tear off a piece of the uh, the poster, show a little more skin. We should have done that. <laughs> it, no, <laughs> you know my ego, my super ego, my id. No, three. I was a. Uh, I'm a very vocal player in my days. And I like to talk a lot, so I people naturally just kind of assumed I was a leader. I don't know how true that is anymore. But we had a kid try out. He, he accused me of being an egomaniac. That they would never get anywhere with me. As like a captain. Hilarious. Was he right? Yeah, maybe. You know. Video game players. Overwatch players. I have a superiority complex. That's what he said. All right. 26 to 30. We are rocking and rolling. I was in fact better than him. He's a bad player. I think so. Certainly looks like it. I mean, with the uh, whole NFL PA thing, you know, very, uh, very big stuff. We we're talking about it earlier, but it's just you know, do you think that they have a product waiting in the wings, ready to come out? Do you think they have something like Chrome ready to go? That'd be kind of crazy. They just had designs for it for the past, you know, month or so. Do you think they get a product out by end of year, quarter four? Would look good on the reports. Nice Christmas season, holiday season stuff. We'll have to see. I, uh... I, I, I... I'm optimistic, obviously. I'm an optimistic guy. I think everything will be okay. Or maybe an adjustment period. Yeah, Panini will still make. Panini will still make football cards, but yes, it will just like, you know, how the Panini baseball stuff looks. No logos, no team names. We'll have some guys on a, a likeness deal, but not everyone. And yes, the Fanatics will have the NFL logos on them. That'll be good, though. That they did today, like yeah, like Fanatics gets it early, three years early, so the license is out. I mean, there's going to be some stuff that goes on behind the scenes, obviously. But I think they've got rights and likenesses on the way. We'll see though. 
be on real quick. All right, 26 to 30. Carlos Perez on the negative, Groshans on the sepia. Jordan Groshan pink. Joey Manessis. So Freddie Freeman. Yeah, of course, yeah. That's, and you can buy all your Fanatics Tops football stuff with all your Bitcoin. I don't too. I heard someone say they look spooky. I don't think they're spooky at all. They're very dope, I think. David VR on the Sepia. Brennan Drury Pink. Say it's Suzuki's second year. They should, they're going to be hard to hit, but yes, the Frozens are in here. I, I swear, I think the only person who hasn't pulled one yet at the shop. I really want to. There's a nice Matt Olson pink. JJ Boudet pink. Logan all Hoppy Technicolor. God, can you imagine Frozen out of five pulling a blaster case? It'd be crazy, right? Guys, guys. Purple Speckles, more rookie color, 189 out of 299. Josh Smith, rookie for the Rangers, gonna go to Stacy. Also, Riley Refractor. Ooh, nice gold speckle coming up. Nice, and it's a short print. 33 out of 50 on the Riley Green image variation short print. Rookie for the Tigers. Gonna go to Spencer. Nice hit. 73 on the back of the code there. Very nice. Jordan Walker, Miguel Vargas Sepia. Calling the shot, negative five. Oh my God. In these last 10 boxes, that would be crazy. A little bit, well, why not, right? Why not? James Alvin pink. Hopefully that means the Sepia is on the way too. Another going Fractor as well. Javi Baez on the Sepia. Which one the last card there? Man, J-Rod, man. That kid is crazy right now. That Julio Rodriguez is so hot right now. There was a stat and yesterday just to talk about how insane Julio Rodriguez has been. He's got as many hits in his last four games as the Yankees have as a team. More steals, more runs, more home runs, like all of it. It's just like, Hugo Rodriguez has been better than a major league team the last four games, which is just insane. Yeah, like people are saying, all like, oh, Luminous is going to get pushed back. I'm like, Luminous is coming out. It comes out Wednesday, guys. I don't think they're going to push it back. They're just going to rock with it. 
The sought, the long sought after blaster, the holy grail. Targets, Walmarts, Walgreens, Barnes and Nobles. Even people were just like scrounging around looking for for retail to resell. Crazy. All right, we have entered the home stretch. The last ten boxes. Here are boxes thirty to thirty-five. I think the main thing about this Mariners team is obviously the lineup is figuring things out now, right? Like, that looks more impressive. But, man, that pitching staff has been so good. You know, they shipped out Paul Seawald, it seems. You know, their closer, all-star closer. Hey, here comes Matt Brash to be lights out late in games, right? Starting pitching. That alley Titans will always fool me. You know? The starting pitching. Everyone talked about Castillo and how how much of an ace he is for that team. But man, George Kirby having a historic season. The I think it's he's going to be the first player ever or something like that for uh, to have above a K per nine of nine and a walk per nine below one, which is just that is insane. Just. Swing and miss potential sky high for him. Guys cannot hit his stuff. He's rotating well. Not walking anyone. That guy's been crazy. Oh, I mean, scalpers and resellers have been around forever, and they always will be. That is some people's jobs now. Camping out, you know, early in the morning in parking lots for stuff, you know? Bots for concert tickets and sports games and trust me, I, as someone who who wears sneakers, you know, resale has been a problem for way over, well over a decade now. It's very annoying, you know. Even before that, you know, from people waiting in line for days for iPhones. I remember people waiting in line for for TVs. I remember people, you know, it's just, you know, anything, Beanie Babies, Funko Pops, like, you know, collectibles, video games, electronic shoes, concert tickets, sports game tickets, it'll always be its own thing. Clothes, accessories, shoes, jewelry. Last 10 boxes, 31 to 35, we start off with. Good luck, y'all. Bryce Turing, Sepia, Francisco Alvarez, and Mookie Betts. If I happen to miss one of our base bets who do ship, Mookie, Shohei, Acuna, and Freeman, obviously the sorting and shipping team, will catch it. Those are the only by commons that will ship. 
obviously all rookies, all inserts, all the pink and sepias will ship, and all of our actual hits as well. I think I'm doing okay for now. And as on my trout sepia. Wish he was healthy, man. I have a Shohei base. Titans Adley. Nice. For the Rangers, one more. 173 out of 199. Josh Young on the true Aqua. Nice hit for Stacy and the Rangers. Very nice. Josh on the base in there. Sepia. Well, more purple sonar for Reese Hoskins, 234 out of 275. One more for Cassandra and the Phillies. Please. Juan Soto Sepia. Back to being Juan Soto. Love to see it. I'm about to get a bag next year. Oh, Naylor on the pink. Mystery Ruiz. There's Gunnar Henderson, Mookie Betts on the Sepia. And a Nolan Gorman pink. This one's numbered. 147 out of 399. Nice hit for the Cardinals and Tristan last spot mojo. Thankfully, no. That's a tough one. Hopefully, just for 2023, right? No rookie stuff. He's having like he was having a good year, but a lot of value in this rookie stuff. All right, last five boxes, folks. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for riding along, shotgun. Look inside your heart, any room for me. You know, the, uh, the 2022 stuff to me, for Tampa, it's like, hey, Josh Lowbricky stuff. He's been awesome, you know? That's all it is to me now. You know, a guy you did not want to see. That's funny how that works, right? In hobbies, in, in the hobby, in breaks, 2022 stuff. It was a, Josh Lowe was a guy you absolutely did not want to see because it meant no wander. And now he's turned himself into like a really good player, like a four war player. He's a legit hitter. I think he's got all-star potential. Obviously, Randy at Rosarena. He's in 2020 stuff, but man, he was just, he's been awesome this year too. So there are definitely other guys to, to grab. The Tampa Bay race to be excited about. Chris Mead got his major league call up like a couple weeks ago too, so hopefully sometime in the future, one of their top prospects, Curtis Mead. We'll, uh, we'll get some rookie stuff soon. Obviously, their prospects are some pretty deep. Junior Caminero, pretty uh, pretty hyped up in this past Bowman class. You know they draft and develop well, so their system's always pretty full. Of, uh, of, of future goons. And although he's now with the Guardians, that uh, that first baseman, 
what's his name? Big Wefty, Big Bopper. He was in the uh, a starter. That starter got pitched. That the starting pitcher that got traded to Tampa from Cleveland. Yeah, I like Glasnow though. Killian Murphy, you know. I like that he, he uh, Kelly Murphy knows like oh yeah like I know who this is because he looks like me. I don't watch baseball at all, but I know who he is. That's cool. I uh, I'm under the impression that Kelly Murphy is just like a good dude. He seems like a like a fun sort. <laughs> and he, he ain't too hard on the eyes. You know what I'm saying. The other guys in there too. <laughs> and how about home run or nothing, Jose Siri? I like him. Great, great defense and only hits home runs. Doesn't walk, doesn't really get on base, doesn't hit the ball, or, or at least for average. But I think it's like 25 dingers or something like that. Like he's gonna end up with 30 home runs. He's gonna have like a 30 30 season one day with like 30 home runs, like 40 steals. Gold glove defense and hit like 220. Has like an OBP of like 270, but he's such a fun player to watch. This is the best burrito I've ever eaten. He's like. He's almost so anti Ray as a player. That he's like the perfect Ray. Five boxes. Can we grab one more auto? We got a short print gold. Nice rookie of Riley Green. Got some nice autos, some nice rookie color. Let's see if we can grab one more nice one for someone. Last five boxes of a 40 box blaster case. Thanks again, y'all. Dermis Garcia. Cody Bellinger, Sepia, and Pink having a great season for the Cubbies. Like to see him back and healthy doing his thing. We do get one more nice color. Nolan Jones, little color match on the purple sonar. 55 out of 275. For the Colorado Rockies, Michael P. Nice Outman refractor as well. It's almost time for the annual tradition of the Rockies playing their best baseball in September to play spoiler on teams. So if you if your team is playing the Rockies in the next few weeks, good luck. Nice couple cards here in that stack. Francisco Alvarez base card, a pink Freddie Freeman, non-numbered for Zach and the Dodgers, and a nice Adley refractor for Sam and the Baltimore Orioles. Bryce Sepia. And it's on the park home right today. Very fun. Brett Beatty Refractor, Francisco Alvarez, Domus Garcia Sepia, another Shohei. Let's see if we can grab one more from these last two boxes. Wouldn't mind grabbing a Taco Refractor either for someone. I've heard some pretty cool rumors about the, uh, the Taco Refractor, that it's, you know, Free taco a day for a year. I have heard it's as big as free tickets to the Mexico Series game next season. But it's a lot of different things. So if we do hit one, maybe hold on to it. All right, last two boxes, y'all. 
Masataka Yoshida on the sepia. In the pink to go with it. Tower O'Neill sepia. There's an Acuna. Another Bellinger sepia. If I had a plug refractor, I wouldn't mind either of those, you know? But how do you prove it? You just like show tops, show fanatics like here, I've got this. Is there a coat on the back, you know? There's a Port and Carol. Drew Waters pink. Altman Sepia. And a Nolan Gorman 1988. So nothing too crazy in those last two boxes, but a pretty nice case of blasters. Some nice rookie color, gold short print rookie, a few autos, some nice ones at that. Plenty of cards getting sleeved and top loads. So obviously all these getting top loads, all of these getting top loads, all of our rookies, all of our vets that we've been top loading all along and our hits. Nice Josh Young out of 199. The Riley Green Gold Speckle Rookie Short Print out of 50. Graham Ashcraft, Simeon Woodridge, and Josh Young on the Rookie Auto in the Jaiwan Bay. There we go. Nice case, y'all. Thanks again. Uh, we've got some more Chrome Jumbos on the sites right now, PYT style. Thanks again, y'all. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.